Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make a video quickly going through uh, how to factor a complex quadratic trinomial using the trial and error method that we talked about in class, just, you know, as a way of reviewing. So, let's say we have something like this, 6x squared plus x minus 2, and we want to factor it. So we know that when we factor it, it's, uh, it's going to look something like, uh, like this, right, with, uh, with two x's, right, in, somewhere inside of our sets of binomials. We know it's going to be something x plus something times something x plus something. And our goal is to figure out what those somethings are, really, to fill in this question. So we need to remember that the two coefficients of the x terms there, they need to multiply to give you the 6 here, okay? So that means that we have a couple possibilities for our first numbers. It could be 1 and 6, or it could be 2 and 3. Okay? Um, and we know that uh, the two constant terms, the two no numbers that we're adding at the ends of those two binomials, when they're multiplied together, they need to give us negative 2. So that gives us really only uh, one option, or I guess technically two. It's going to give us one and negative two, or technically negative one and positive two, but we're going we're gonna to deal with flipping the negatives uh, momentarily. So from here on out, now that we have our options, we're basically just going to base try them out. So we'll kind of substitute some in and see what happens. So let's take the first one. Uh, so we'll use one and six. So that gives us uh, x plus one times 6x minus 2. Now, what I want to do is draw your attention here, right, to the 6x minus 2. Now, there were no common factors in the, in the initial question, 6x squared plus x minus 2, which means that there should be no common factors inside of our uh, binomials, and that means that we can pretty much reject this, uh, this question or this possibility right off the bat. Okay, so that one's not going to work. So what about if we switch the positive 1 and the negative 2? So let's try that. That's going to give us x minus 2 and 6x plus 1, right? Uh, there's no common factors here, so let's give it a go and see what happens. So I'm going to expand it out. 6x squared plus x minus 12x minus 2, which gives me 6x squared minus 11x minus 2. Now I want you to know that, notice that when we expanded that out, that middle term is negative 11x, not positive x. And that tells us that this is not correct either. So we can reject that. Now, since we've tried both possibilities with the, the coefficients of x being 1 and 6, we are going to reject that as a possibility entirely, and we're going to deal just with the 2 and the 3. So let's try the 2 and the 3. So that's going to give us 2x plus 1 times 3x minus 2, and let's see what happens from here. So again, I'm going to expand it out, and that's going to give me 6x squared minus 4x plus 3x minus 2. And uh, collecting like terms, I'm going to have 6x squared minus x minus 2. Now, this is not what we, st uh, what we need. We need 6x squared plus x minus 2, right? We have 6x squared minus x minus 2. But since the only difference is whether this is positive or negative, this is where we can deal with switching the positives and the negatives uh, up top. So instead of doing uh, 2x plus 1 and 3x minus 2, let's try 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. All right, so expanding those out, we get 6x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 2. And collecting like terms, we get 6x squared plus x minus 2, which is exactly what we want. And that tells us that our answer should be 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. Okay, so that's uh, factoring a complex quadratic trinomial using the trial and error method. Hope it helps, guys. Take care.